All right, y'all, back in the shop. I want to preface this video by saying sorry. I'm all plugged up and uh, my allergies are going crazy. So you're going to hear some sniffling and some coughing maybe. So sorry about that. Uh, but but yeah, I'll get over it here. <laughs> just want all these trees to bloom, <laughs> get it over with. Uh, but anyway, uh, what we're working on today is, so for the last uh, six, eight months or so, maybe a little longer, um, we've been doing these bunk beds through my, the local church that I attend. Uh, we're building bunk beds for uh, kids through the foster system that need beds. So family will take in a foster kid and uh, basically we're providing them a bed. So um, what my job is, uh, there's multiple uh, people involved with this, but um, what, what I do mainly is, so these are um, the material for the headboard and footboard. So these are the posts and these two by fours here are the rungs. So uh, and then another, a uh, couple other people do some other cutting on some of the rails and slats and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, so uh, how we attach these is, uh, we actually just made a change, but um, what we're going to be doing is uh, half flap joints. And um, have, obviously we have a lot of them. So this is the amount for 12 beds, uh, what, we're, what we're doing. So to make this setup process go a little quicker, uh, I bought this micro jig uh, fit finder. It's a half gauge automatic center, center finder. Um, I'm hoping that it just makes the setup for the height of my saw blade to create these half laps, uh, just dramatically decrease the time, uh, rather than taking scrap pieces and just, you know, um, checking and adjusting as you go, basically. So I'm hoping this works. Um, it even says on the box here, finds the centers instantly with zero guesswork. That's my hope. So we're going to see if it works. Uh, obviously, uh, as you all know, if you've been watching my videos, <clears throat> you know, I'm a big fan of the, of micro jig and, uh, their entire system. I built my entire workbench around their system. I built my router table. Uh, the way my fence slides and everything is based on their dovetail hardware. And uh, I'm just a big fan of the company. I like their their product. So um, I've had their uh, micro jig uh, push blocks for a while. These are getting old. I need to start replacing some of the parts on them. I've cut through them a few times in the table saw. Uh, but anyway. Um, I, yeah, I just like the company. They're uh, not a sponsor of this channel or anything, but uh, um, yeah, they. Uh, I just like their products and like what they make. So I think everything that I've bought of theirs, I've been pretty satisfied with. So um, I guess this is a good plug for them. <laughs> but so, uh, but this, I haven't even opened the box yet. Uh, watched a couple of videos. I kind of know what it is and how it works, but uh, let's see what's in the box here. Um, got the mic. <laughs> Not much. It's good. <laughs> uh, just the warranty thing and a little instruction manual. I don't think we'll need this. All right, I've got my table saw slid up and my dado blade, uh, dado stack all set up in the table saw here to uh, get ready to start making these half laps. So um, I'll bring you a little bit closer and show you exactly how this jig uh, works to get the height of your blade set and uh, show you how easy it is. I'm hoping it goes like I said, I haven't used it yet. So. Um, I'm hoping that it's as, just like the, what they say on the box, um, takes out the guesswork or something. Um, find the joint centers instantly with zero guesswork. That's what I'm hoping. Um, very simple, very quick, easy, save some time, uh, get these, get the height of my blade set so I can just start running and go into production mode and, um, uh, just start knocking out all these, uh, half laps on these, uh, uh, posts and rungs. So, um, but yeah, I'll get you in a little closer and show you exactly how it works. All right, so like I said, I'll bring in a little closer here to show you exactly how this thing works and how it sets up. Like I said, I haven't even used this before. I have not uh, read the instructions other than glancing at it like you just saw me. Um, just pretty self-explanatory right on your place, full stock thickness here. So uh, we'll do this. And it's still kind of locked in there. Kind of press down on that a little bit and we'll lock that in. And that should have brought that with it. So, so I placed my full stock here, which automatically brought this halfway. So I'll redo this here, but um, so as you can see, as this moves up, this thing, this travels with it to the halfway mark. And there's my half distance, which like I say, at a glance without running anything through a table saw or anything or uh, yet that actually looks like it's about halfway so uh it looks like it says what it or does what it says it uh it does and uh we'll make these cuts okay so just like that now that we have our 
uh, gauge set. Now what we're going to do is set the height of our dado blade to this piece right here. So let's go ahead and do that next. All right, so like I said, we'll get this height of our dado blade set up in the correct position based on this part of our jig here. Rotate that a little bit. So that's probably a little too high, seeing as it pushed it back. We're going to lower it just slightly. And rotate that blade again. That's pretty close. We're just going to go down just slightly. So that's about perfect right there, actually. So um, I don't know if you can hear this here. I'll actually I'll set the mic down right next to this. And as I am rotating this around, you can hear this kind of, some of it is scraping on the side of the table saw sled, but I can kind of feel it. It's just lightly scraping right there. I don't know if you heard that, but okay. So I just wanted to show the backside of this too. So all this is, uh, what I'm tightening on the backside here is just these two little green knobs. Uh, super easy, just a little thumb screw and real easy to do. So, all right, I've got my blade height set. I've got my stop block set up and I've got my board all, boards all marked out uh, to re ready to make this first test cut. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get to it and, uh, and then we'll test our fit. Um, I do need to make the, the half lap cut on uh, this, the, the two by four as well, um, which is the rung. Uh, so I'm not going to adjust my stop block for that. I'll just kind of uh, just for the test one, when I batch out all 24 of them that I have, uh, then I'll actually set my stop block to the exact um, uh, position that I need it. But uh, for now, basically, I'm just going to eyeball this one just to make sure that the, the half lap fit uh, comes together um, and everything will come out flush. So uh, let's go ahead and make this cut. All right, uh, I've got my test pieces all set up and made the cuts, and uh, it, it came out pretty good, actually. But uh, full disclosure, I did have to make one adjustment um, to the height of the blade. Actually, uh, it, it, I had to actually raise it up. It wasn't cutting deep enough. So it uh, could have been something on my end of it. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple and self-explanatory, so I'm not sure on that. But um, yeah, so all I, all I, I just want to say it wasn't a one-time uh, adjustment for me. I did have to make one adjustment to the height of my blade in order to get this to uh, to sit flush here. So, and it, but it come it came out pretty good. So, and I guess the question is, did it save me any time? Uh, yeah, I'd say it saved me a little bit of time than doing it the conventional way of just trying to measure and figure out and then raise the blade, make the cuts and uh, rinse and repeat. Um, yeah, it probably saved me a little bit of time. So uh, is it worth the price of admission? I paid 35 bucks for it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I would say if you are in a situation like I am where you're going to be doing um, a lot of these half lap cuts or dado cuts or uh, um, needing, needing to find, you know, half the thickness of material a lot, um, yeah, then I would say it's definitely worth the price of admission. But, uh, if you, it's just something you would just do on the weekends and, um, it's just a small hobby of yours. And if you got $35 to spend elsewhere, yeah, I would say do that. You know, I mean, there's nothing groundbreaking about it, but it's definitely a cool little jig. You know, it does have the other uses as far as, uh, setting your fence and, uh, um, finding the center point of some round stock and all that. So, I mean, there are a couple other um, uh, things that you can do with it, but for the most part, I'm happy with it. I'm not going to return it. So, I mean, $35, I'll just keep it. And uh, uh, I don't plan on stopping this either. Like I said, I'll be doing these half laps for the foreseeable future. So um, it's just anything I can do to save me a little time during the setup process, I will gladly take. So um, anyway, with that being said, uh, as far as projects coming up, um, I do have a couple more, a couple more smaller items. I'm thinking about building a coffee table for us and a uh, co coffee table and a set of end tables for our living room. Um, once again, thinking of doing it out of walnut. I do have some walnut left, uh, left over from the dining room table that I just built. 
And by the way, I don't know if, if any of y'all watched that video uh, on the dining room table. I don't know what happened to the rendering process of that. Um, not happy with how the quality came out. I actually filmed all that in uh, 4K, 60 frames per second. And um, I don't know. I don't know what happened in the whole the bit rate to the bit rate of it. But it's the quality of that video I was a little disappointed with. So, um, oh, well, I'm a rookie at all <laughs> this video editing and stuff. So uh, I'll get better at it. But uh, for now, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish out making all these cuts. And I got some work ahead of me here, so I'm going to get to it. I appreciate you uh, watching, following along with what I'm doing here. Uh, if you're enjoying it, uh, leave me a like. And uh, if you got any questions, leave it in the comments, and I will be sure to answer. Um, yeah, that's all I got. See you.